Hello, my name is Malika Karana, and I am presenting Sneeze Love, Embodying Cultural Superstitions and Connected Devices. This project was conducted at Carnegie Mellon University with collaborators Zhanfang Chen, Dara Byrne, and Yang Bai. Our short paper illustrates how culture can meaningfully inform interaction design. This builds on prior work that calls attention to the normative US-centric cultures of production in modern technology devices. Through a process of material speculation, we designed and prototyped Sneeze Love, a gesture communication device inspired by a Chinese superstition that says when you sneeze, it means someone is missing you. With Sneeze Love, paired users can send the message, I miss you, through a sneeze, illustrating how communication mediums can be made more intimate and immediate through tangibility and relevancy to the user's personal cultures. As Lucy Suchman observed in the 1990s, Silicon Valley has been regarded as the here where the future is defined for the rest of the world. Device designs and interaction paradigms are US centric, though devices may be used globally. This can be seen as a colonizing move that is harmful to the identity and representation of non-centric perspectives. Cultural diversity begins to erode with the convergence of individuals' lives everywhere around the world as the worst case scenario. Given the richness of culture, how it ties into our personal lived experiences and memories and encompasses previous generations of experiences, beliefs, superstitions, and ways of living, we aim to preserve and explore the research area of culturally informed devices. We situate this work in an exploration of gesture devices. Most gesture devices send a simple, often tangible signal from one user to another remote user of an identical device with the aim of creating an intimate and felt connection between pairs of people. With the constraints on in-person socializing due to COVID-19, we found both renewed interest in digital gesture communication and a more urgent case to be made for imagining new ways of connecting people across distances. This moment also provided the opportunity to reflect on the history of gesture communication devices and identify areas that are still largely unexplored. Another strategy we have observed in gesture communication and IoT devices has been to engage users in the design and creation of these devices. Alternative Avenues for IoT demonstrates how taking users' desires, unique environments, and identities as a starting point for designing IoT devices can open up new considerations of the values and beliefs embodied in our devices and create more meaningful relationships between humans and technology. We also took inspiration from projects that find humor and a sense of wonder in the mundane. Work from Dominic Wilcox and Montana Figer specifically use bodily functions as a source of humor and playfulness. With our design, we aim to create a communication medium that would make people smile and would feel more special than just sending an SMS. We began from the topic of communicating through shared, ordinary, but intimate moments. Through ideation, we have surface the observation that in Indian culture, hiccups mean someone is missing you. We realize similar superstitions exist in cultures around the world. Sneezes in China, burning ears in Ireland, eye twitches in Trinidad. We speculated how embodying the message of I miss you through a digital gesture inspired by one of these superstitions could create a playfully engaging and culturally meaningful interaction. We chose to material materialize the sneezing superstition as we thought it would have the most evocative presence and feedback. Airflow, movement, and sound. The device consists of a nose protruding from its front surface along with a feather made of conductive thread. A tissue hangs below the nose and covers a small opening in the box leading to a blower, capacitive sensor, servo motor, and microcontroller. To use sneeze love, one user first sends a sneeze to signal that they are thinking of the other user. Using a conductive feather, they tickle under their device's nose. A signal is sent via a cloud framework and received by another device. This triggers an electromechanical and germ-free sneeze through a gust of air and a sneeze-like sound. Taking inspiration from Foley artists, we experimented with generating an analog sound using materials rather than digital audio to give the sound effect a richer and more tangible presence, like the bellows of a cuckoo clock. 
a servo motor that rubs one piece of sandpaper against another to create a sneeze-like ch sound just after the blower is triggered. Drawing on our lived experiences and personal memories of culture with sneeze love allowed us to reflect on the empowerment that comes from creating devices that tap into personal meaning. Sneeze love and the other superstition concepts mentioned are based on each of the author's cultures, so they may not relate to all users. We present them just as examples to open this design space of culturally informed technology devices. As we imagine a post-pandemic world where remote work is normalized and we have become more aware of the limitations of mainstream communication technologies, we believe the values behind sneeze love will continue to be relevant. We emphasize the importance of designs that are driven by alternative priorities and put experiences, desirability, and emotional value first. We hope that this exploration further opens up superstitions as a rich proposition for culturally informed communications and for continued exploration through design research. Thank you for listening. You can find more detail in our short paper.